this whole idea of barefoot running is certainly a big topic in our industry. And the idea of barefoot running in and of itself may not be the most important element in our discussion. In other words, whether to barefoot run or not may not be the most important element of that discussion. What may be more important is A, how we run, and B, how do we create a periodization model of stress so that we can graduate towards barefoot running slowly and systematically so we don't get injured. So in other words, if I do too much too soon, my body's not used to it, it's going to get injured. In other words, if I go to barefoot running right away and I start running 5K, if my body's not used to it, that will in itself lead to injuries. And it may not be that I barefoot ran, it may just be that I barefoot ran too much too soon. And so the discussion about barefoot running really is, can I introduce it properly and can I sustain a steady graduation of increases in tolerance, so I'm increasing the volume or I'm increasing the exposure to running, such that my body can actually adapt properly. The first part is how we run. When we run with shoes, with a cushiony sole on a surface like concrete, a lot of times our body will choose to heel strike. And when it heel strikes, we have a negative angle into the ground. In other words, I'm putting the brakes on, so to speak. But if you've ever tried to run barefoot on a ground that is hard, whether it be cement or whether it be hard dirt, your body will actually choose a more efficient way to run. And instead of running on the heel and landing on the heel, you're actually going to land on the midfoot. And the reason why you land on the midfoot is because you don't put the brakes on. You're actually bringing that foot through. It's hitting the ground right underneath the pelvis and then you can actually just fall forward in a field of gravity. So that is actually a much more effective way to run is landing on the midfoot because to land on my midfoot means that my foot is already underneath my pelvis by the time it comes through. And the cool thing about that is that if I land with the foot on the ground and my pelvis is directly over top, I simply lean forward in a field of gravity and then I take my next step. So I'm using gravity to load me and I'm just falling repeatedly in a field of gravity. It makes me very efficient and my body can capture the energy very well. But if I heel strike, that means my foot has hit the ground before and it's landed in front of the pelvis. And if it lands in front of the pelvis, that means it's going to hit the ground and the ground's going to push back at it and it's going to approximate all the structures of the foot and the ground reaction force is going to be higher and more percussive in nature. So there's going to be a rattling ground reaction force uh, that enters my body. My body can't really treat that very well and very efficiently. So where, when we barefoot run, it's important to have and adopt the right technique in that I'm landing on the midfoot. My, my foot is basically landing on the ground right underneath my pelvis. And I need to graduate the exposure of barefoot running so that my tissues, my structure can tolerate the loads effectively because to transition from a shoe to a non-shoe is something that's pretty abrupt for the body. So we want to make sure that the soft tissues, the nervous system, the cartilaginous structures in the body and the foot itself can accommodate the ground reaction force necessary to survive and thrive barefoot running. But it takes some time for us to get back into uh, those that, that arena, that element of exposure or that element of loading. It takes some time for our bodies to adapt.